question. I want to ask you your gift giving philosophy because I have uh, one, but I also yeah. have a unique. Yours, I'm not giving you <laughs> shit. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> but I have a unique. I have a unique viewpoint. Uh-huh. Um, so you know, it's, I didn't grow up celebrating Christmas, so that's right. one thing. But Jehovah's we did. Witness. No, we did, we did grow up celebrating Eid, which is literally the same thing. It's a right. little, it, like you get gifts and shit, basically. Mm-hmm. But you know. I have a fiance who is very much into the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things we decided is we're not really uh, financially celebrating holidays until we have kids. Mm. Because those holidays really are for the kids. So like Like, Valentine's Day or just like... Valentine's Day is different. Okay. But 4th of July, Christmas, Thanksgiving... Did you have a 4th of July party? Huh? Did you have a 4th of July party? Uh, Maybe. Oh, okay. But I'm talking about gifts. Most holidays with gifts. Holidays with so gifts. So just yeah. Christmas, gotcha. I guess just Christmas. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you kind of like it's multiple Whole holidays yeah, where no, you get gifts. We, I should bring this up. And you're doing like right? exactly, yeah. Hmm. But then steak and you miss out on steak and Auburn yeah. day. Well, yeah. Well, see, I get steak and Auburn day, and I get sweetest day. Yeah, true. But then she gets like anniversary and, and birthdays and yeah. Tuesdays. You always get more. <laughs> You'll figure it out, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the, my philosophy, <clears throat> and and this was hard for, I think it was hard for some folks on her side of the family because I'm not buying y'all gifts until I have kids. Hold on, you're not buying the adults gifts until you have kids, yeah. or until they have kids. No, until I have kids. Because okay. I I have no. So the reason behind this is I just don't have a reason to celebrate this holiday, and I feel like mm-hmm. this is something that when I have kids, what they would probably. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the sentiment more than I ever could. Mm-hmm. And so that's where that philosophy comes from. I also am not in the business of being like fake and funny. I, I don't necessarily. There's very few people that I genuinely would like to buy gifts for. And gotcha. they don't have anything to do with Christmas. If that makes gotcha. sense. So like, yeah. for example, yeah. I brought you the, you know, fuck with it. The Andrea Godala book. You didn't. That wasn't a gift. <laughs> it was brought that to, to mock me. <laughs> You know how but I feel like, about that. Uh, yeah, no, that. <laughs> that shiny ass patch of. Did he retire? I hope so. I he, he probably did. No, he trying to. Get, if Clay played this year, I bet he his ass would have tried to be back on the um. <laughs> on the Warriors. The 70, I was gonna say the Golden Warriors. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's your what's Fuck your Andre Iguodala for the record? But so yes, <laughs> what's my what? What's your gift giving philosophy? Um, I just like buying people gifts. And um, this year, this time of year, I kind of use it as an opportunity to um, support businesses. Mm. So, like, um, a lot of the gifts I got for most of the people um, come from this black-owned women's company. I don't want to say what it is because certain people might be listening. I don't want to give away what the gifts are. I want it to be a bit of a surprise. Good call. So, um, like, I like to do that and kind of use it as a way to – because, like, I spent – over $200 on this person's stuff, almost $300. So I kind of use it as a way to kind of support and invest in different companies that I wouldn't otherwise. That's dope. So, um, and also I just like kind of, I like putting people on the shit. So, you know, I kind of use it as a way to do that. And I also like, I like getting people stuff that they don't know they might enjoy. How do you decide that for someone? Um, because people I buy gifts for, I tend to know them pretty well mm-hmm. um so i kind of have an idea of what their interests are like my one friend i got her and her daughter like um the amazon kind of like the amazon like home device electronic thing so like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of what i have here but i have google where you can turn the lights on and play yeah. music but there's i got music. the Using, <laughs> I got. The, I think it's called an Amazon Hub or something like that. Yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. like video chat people. Like, this is not an ad, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like her daughter will sometimes randomly call me, or we'll just chop it up, or you can watch videos. It tells you how to like do recipes, so they can be in the nice. kitchen learning how to cook stuff. Yeah. So I thought it would help them bond and kind of allow her to get into technology without it being like just looking at a screen watching videos. It's more interactive. And my friend, I got her like some lights so she can change the lighting in her room or for whatever, you know, fits her lights off. <laughs> <laughs> it's motherfucking dirty. 
<laughs> Clean yeah. wash. wash. <laughs> Motherfucker, wash it. <laughs> yeah, so stuff like that. Uh, that's that's more, cool. yeah. I don't necessarily care for the particular holiday. I, to me, I don't even really necessarily think about Christmas. I think more about the gifts mm. and how I approach it. I don't even really think about it being Jesus' birthday because we all know that's a lie. But anyways, right. that's a different subject for a different day. A different pot. <laughs> What's interesting to me is I, um, I don't think of these things as, I don't know, it's weird because... Mm-hmm. For example, I got um, <clears throat> I got my groomsmen. What I get y'all? Flasks, cigar cutters, and cigar holders, right? Yeah, that's some shit I probably would have gave you niggas anyway. Like if I ran across it and wasn't having an event, the reason why that was the package is because <laughs> all of my groomsmen enjoy those things. So mm-hmm. at some point, I probably would have come across that and gotten you it, but right. it wouldn't have been packaged as. Groom's for occasion. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So that's interesting because I feel you. I like getting people shit. Uh, I think this was you who have who coined this phrase the way that I remember it is uh, the best gifts are shit that you wouldn't get for yourself. The shit yeah. that you want and yeah. probably low-key need, but you just wouldn't really yeah. get it for yourself. Those are the best gifts, and I, I think those are dope. That's why like a cigar cutter mm-hmm. randomly is like <laughs> that was mm-hmm. that was kind of cool. Um <clears throat> And so for, I guess for me, it's kind of weird to pigeonhole it into the holiday season, if that makes sense, because it just becomes capitalism at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm like tricking myself by saying this for these other reasons, Mm -hmm. and I'm just indulging in capitalism, I'm trying to not tell myself that or what, but also I don't really, I fuck with capitalism, to be honest with you, so. Yeah, me too. (laughs) <laughs> so I don't care Honestly me too um, Alright anything else uh, important That was a little bit of a tangent yeah. Anything else <laughs> important happened this week uh, Nah um, You know I like Chipotle gift cards and Books if anybody's thinking about just randomly We got the gifts dropped still uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish <laughs> If one randomly give me something you know Can't go wrong with those You have a preference of Gifts to somebody wanting to get you something? It depends on who it is. I always... Oh, fuck. I forgot I'm on the podcast. I was going to say something. Wow. <laughs> I always appreciate... <laughs> right. Yeah.